Hi, I'm Peter from Gigabyte. Today I'd like to show you our H262 series hyperconverged systems, which include the H262 Z61, Z62, Z63 and Z66. Gigabyte's H series servers are designed for high performance computing and hyperconverged infrastructure. They are high density multi node servers that combine compute, storage, and networking into one system. The server uses a modular design with hot plugable node trays. The user does not need to slide out the entire server to replace components. If one node is out of order, simply slide out and replace with another. This ultra high density design provides twice the computing density of a one new rack server, maximizing space utilization. All server nodes share the same power supplies and fan modules, improving resource utilization and reducing energy consumption and cabling. Compared to four traditional one new rack servers, this two U4 node design can reduce rack space occupation by 50% reduce power consumption by around 4% due to power supplies running more efficiently and having less fans and power supplies in total, as well as reducing the total number of power supplies by 75% and the number of management LAN cables by 56% when using a CMC port. Each node of the H262 features dual AMD EPIC 7002 series processors. AMD is the first to market with an x86 processor based on 7 nanometer technology. Since the 7 nanometer process brings better energy efficiency, the second generation AMD EPIC processor can provide the same performance at half the power consumption of the first generation. AMD EPIC has been engineered for data centers that rely on CPU performance, so that highly parallel workloads have more cores to work with. AMD EPIC 7002 generation processors scale from 8 to 64 cores per socket. Second generation AMD EPIC supports PCI Gen 4 with a bandwidth of up to 64 gigabit per second, twice that of PCIe Gen 3. Each node also features 16 DIMM slots, 8 per socket to support the maximum 8 channels of memory as well as two low-profile PCIe Gen 4 expansion slots, one OCP mezzanine slot, and dual onboard M.2 slots. Combining four nodes, the H262 series features a total of 64 DIMM slots with a speed of up to 3200 MHz. With a total of eight low-profile PCIe Gen 4 expansion slots, four OCP mezzanine slots, and eight onboard M.2 slots for each system. The H262 series also includes a CMC global management port. Let's talk about this feature in a minute. Network connectivity wise, each node features dual one gigabyte ethernet ports and a BMC management LAN port as standard. In total, just multiply those by four. Let's look at the front. Look at all these storage bays. Storage is the main difference of these four models. H262 Z61 supports six SATA or SAS 2.5 inch drive bays per node for 24 in total per system. H262 Z62 supports six NVMe 2.5 inch drives per node for 24 in total. Z63 supports two NVMe drives per node for eight in total per system. The reduced number of drive bays lets this system to draw in more airflow from the front, allowing it to support a maximum processor TDP even in an ambient temperature environment of 35 degrees Celsius. Z66 supports a mixed configuration of NVMe and SATA or SAS drives, three each per node for 12 each in total per system. Installing and removing disks into these drive bays are very easy and intuitive, requiring no tools at all. Install a disk and plug it back in. On the front are two small control panels. The LED indicates the status of each node. Green means the system is operating normally. The power button can be used to manually cycle the power of each node. The ID LED is another special feature 
that helps you identify which node you need to work on. Gigabyte's H262 series servers feature a CMC central management controller which connects internally to BMCs integrated on each node. This results in only one CMC MLAN connection required for monitoring of all four nodes, resulting in less top-of-rack cabling and less ports required on your switch, i.e. only one port instead of four required for remote monitoring of all nodes. Gigabyte's H-Series servers also feature the ability to create a ring connection for monitoring and management of all servers in a rack by adding an optional ring topology kit. Only two switch connections are needed to create the ring system, and the ring will not be broken even if one server in the chain is shut down, reducing cabling and switch port usage for greater cost savings and management efficiency. Looking at this system from above, we can see a total of eight powerful fan modules that can support a maximum TDP of 200 to 225 watts per system. And here's where the dual 2200 watt 80 plus platinum power supply units are located. Let me introduce you to another cool feature of this system that takes advantage of the fact that a power supply unit will run at greater power efficiency with a higher loading. We introduced a power management feature called cold redundancy for servers with dual power supplies. When the total system power loading falls below 40%, the system will automatically place one power supply into standby mode, enabling the other power supply to take over the greater load. This can enable total system power efficiency savings of up to 10%. The power supply system also incorporates a hot redundancy feature. If one power supply is lost, the other will take up the total load. Gigabyte's exclusive technology, SCMP, Smart Crisis Management and Protection, will automatically force the system's CPU to enter ultra-low frequency mode for minimum power consumption. In a 2U4 node server, only two nodes will be switched to low power mode, while two remaining nodes can continue normal operation. When the fault is resolved, or the faulty power supply is replaced, the system will automatically return to normal power mode. Gigabyte Management Console is our remote server management platform featuring an HTML5 user interface that can be accessed from any web browser on your PC or mobile phone. The platform supports RESTful API, including the latest standards of Redfish, allowing the administrator to integrate with third-party applications for server management. The dashboard gives overall information about the status of the server, including events and sensor warnings that have recently occurred. The sensor category will allow us to check various sensor readings within the server, such as temperatures, voltages and fan speeds. Sensors will detect component failure or overheating, and the administrator can be notified directly by email in the event of an error. We can view information about the chassis and motherboards and of the components installed on the server, such as CPU, memory, PCIe cards, hard drives, by the system inventory and FRU information categories. Included within logs and reports is a video log feature to record abnormal events that have occurred for diagnosis. The remote control function features an IKVM tool for remote virtual desktop management. This is offered free of charge without any additional add-on license required for purchase. Easy BIOS Refresh is an integrated function that allows users to update the BIOS of the server through the BMC controller. The image redirection function also allows the user to remotely install an operating system image. The user can also monitor the power consumption of the server and create custom fan speed profiles according to their cooling, noise and power efficiency requirements. Finally, 
They can power on, off or reset the server via the power control function. GSM, Gigabyte Server Management, is an optional software platform for remote management of multiple Gigabyte servers. It is available as a free download from each Gigabyte product page. Also, we have an app available for both iOS and Android. Gigabyte Server Management is compatible with both IPMI and Redfish connection interfaces and contains many of the same powerful management and monitoring features available from Gigabyte Management Console. Starting from the GSM Server Dashboard, the user can clearly understand the status of each server in the network, such as no connection status, if the system is online or offline, node hardware sensor status for voltage, fan speed and temperature, node usage rate status, such as for power consumption. The user can also perform various management functions for each node, including power cycling, changing network configuration and settings, alert management setup, including forwarding alerts by email, BMC, BIOS, CPLD updating, and group management, creating groups of nodes for BMC BIOS updates or managing power consumption settings. The big advantage of Gigabyte Server Management is the ability to use a single software interface to manage all the servers in your rack and all the racks in your data center. For more information on Gigabyte's H262 series servers, please visit gigabyte.com.